Hey, good morning, everybody. Okay, today is April the 1st, 2023, and I have a dream that I want to share with you guys. Um, there's a lot of symbology in this uh, dream. And all glory to God for his message that he is giving. And I ask that you soberly listen to this message. Because many people are being fooled. And, they're, and it's happening to them because they willingly chose to allow it to happen. <clears throat> okay, so here I go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the dream. And then I'm going to um, give an interpretation from things that I've been seeing and also things that Justin uh, has received from the Holy Spirit about it. And I'm also going to give Bible scripture as well, okay? Okay, so I was at my mom and dad's house, and inside the kitchen cupboard was a cereal box. Inside the cereal box was a huge bag of weed, marijuana. My friend Sharon came up to me and wanted some weed, so I gave her four big nuggets. I tried to close the, ba the big bag back, but it was so full I could barely close it. I told her that my mom did not even know it was in there. I went outside to the pool. So uh, in, in reality, at my mom and dad's house, they have this huge pool and the, it sits in the middle of the house. So the house is surrounded. The way the house is built, it surrounds the pool. Um, the pool sits outside, but the, the house is built around the pool. <clears throat> so I went outside to the pool so I could throw out the weed over the pool wall. Now, uh, Beverly, Sharon was no longer with me. A girl named Beverly was with me. Beverly was there, and I told her I had to get rid of this quickly because Mom and Dad were coming up the driveway. I did not want them to catch me with this weed. It was no longer in a cereal box, but now it was in a garbage bag. Okay. So, let me go over a few details here. My mom in the dream represents the Holy Spirit. Uh, um, my mom always, well, I won't say always, like twice she did not represent the Holy Spirit. But usually in my dream when my mom's there, she represents the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is the comforter. And that's what the Holy Spirit does. The Holy Spirit comforts. And also the Holy Spirit leads us into all truth, okay? Okay. So in the dream, my mom represented the Holy Spirit. My dad represented God the Father. Like I told you, this dream is completely symbolic. Uh, my dad represented God the Father. <clears throat> now, um, let's see. Sharon, her name means fertile plain. Okay, a fertile plain. And in this particular dream, it is going to be applied to the seed of the sower, the parable about the seed of the sower, okay? And Beverly, her name represents beaver meadow or beaver field. And beavers build dams, okay? So, now, let me go over a few things. Now, the Hebrew meaning of the Ruach, okay? It means spirit, breath, or wind. And when spoken, the word engages one's breath and lungs, okay? Now, <clears throat> in the dream... The weed, the marijuana, represented a false spirit, okay? We breathe in the weed and we exhale it, okay? Uh, it goes into our lungs. And this was a false, this represents a false spirit and a false doctrine, okay? The fact that this was inside of my mom and dad's house, which that represents the, uh, the church, okay? The church. This is not, we're not talking about the worldly people here. We aren't talking about anybody who hasn't come to Jesus Christ yet. We're talking about those who are inside the church who claim to be tr Christians. It was inside the kitchen uh, and it was inside of a cereal box. Okay. And the, the kitchen is where we go to eat. And inside the cereal box is where we'll find the food, which this represented a false doctrine that was inside the cereal box, okay? Now, let me go back and read. Um, I'm going to read to you something that Justin wrote, and then I'm going to go back and put a little bit of extra notes with it. So he said, I'm seeing you being shown from eyes of the shepherds within the house of God. 
that are feeding the flock things that are not of God and the Holy Spirit. Doctrines that come from a false spirit. And having the knowledge that mom and dad are coming up the driveway, meaning it's time for Jesus to catch his bride away. The pool being in the middle of the house, but outside. The pool is in the center. The pool represents the cleansing that we must do. Beverly being damned if you do not cleanse your temple. Cereal box turned into garbage bag equals trash doctrine. The doctrines this flock is willingly consuming is of a false spirit that will cause them to be damned. Eternal separation from God unless they repent. Now, so when I gave uh, Sharon, I gave her uh, some, some, she wanted the nuggets. So Sharon came up to me. So in the dream, Sharon came up to me. I did not go find her. Sharon came up to me and wanted some weed. So this is free will. This is 100% free will. Okay. This was not forced upon her. She sought this out. I will have scripture to go with this. Okay. Now, um, and I tried to close the bag, but it was so full. I could barely close it. And this represents the profuse amounts of false doctrine that is coming from a false spirit within the church of, of God. And it's not from the Holy Spirit. Because in the dream, I told Sharon, I said, listen, my mom doesn't even know this is here. Okay? So this particular false doctrine from this false spirit is not from the Holy Spirit. Okay? Because mom, the Holy Spirit, did not even know it was there. So it did couldn't have possibly come from her. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let me see if I got anything else. All right. Now, let me read to you... Um, let me read to you some Bible scriptures. Okay. So let's see. First John chapter 20, verse 22. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and saith unto them, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Okay. And whosoever, whosoever sins ye remit, they are remitted unto them. And whosoever sins ye retain, they are retained. Now, so in the dream, I wanted to hide this way. I actually wanted to get rid of it. I didn't know. All, I really wasn't trying to hide it so much, but I wanted to get rid of it. I wanted to throw it away. I wanted to get rid of it. And I went out to the pool area, the cleansing area, the place where it was to be cleansed and made clean to clean our temple. And I went to go toss the weed over the pool wall, it was no longer in a cereal box, but it was in a garbage bag, which represents I was throwing away trash. I was throwing away a garbage false doctrine. I was getting rid of it. And that is what we must do. We must do this thing. We cannot hold on to it because I'm telling you something. He's coming up the driveway right now. He's about to enter into the house. Okay. He's about to catch his bride away. You do not want to be caught with false doctrine. You do not want to be caught consuming false doctrine. The next scripture I'm going to read is Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living soul. The reason why I'm reading these Bible scriptures is because it has to do with the breath of life and that it comes from God. Okay. When we, when you are consuming a false, something from a false spirit, false doctrine, you are consuming it. You are breathing it in and you are breathing it out. Okay. We only want to make sure, we want to make sure that we are just only, um, having the pure, unadulterated word of God, the father and being led into truth by the Holy spirit. Romans chapter eight, verses six through nine. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is in an enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. 
So partaking, uh, you know, this weed, this marijuana, the whole world pushes it as wonderful. It's great in the physical form. Okay. You know, it's, it's a, it's a carnal thing to do, but this dream is totally symbolic about spiritually consuming spiritually. Okay. The, the things that are not of God. Right. And it says, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace for to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace, okay? Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God, okay? Now, if you are, um, you know, like Sharon, Sharon came up to me, like I said before, she came up to me. I didn't have to go search her out. She came to me. So this was... a uh, Something that she had free will, but her, her will was to just go and seek out this false doctrine. Okay. I'm going to read, uh, <clears throat> Genesis chapter four verses three. No, Genesis uh, chapter three verses seven and eight. And this would be about like me throwing the garbage over like, okay, like I wanted to, <clears throat> I did not want my mom and dad to find me with the weed. Okay. So I was like trying to hide it. But at the same time, I knew I actually couldn't just hide it. I literally had to get rid of it because I didn't want my dad and my mom to see me with it. <clears throat> Genesis chapter three, verses seven and eight. And the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And the Lord, the voice of the Lord God, and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. But see, what did God, God knew where they were. God, God found them. You can't hide anything from the Lord, okay? So you need to get rid of it. So don't try to hide it. Throw it away. Get rid of it. Throw it away. And my last verse that I want to read to you is um, 2 Timothy verses 3 and 4. And this is speaking on how Sharon came to me. She wanted to have what I had to give her. And this was uh, representative of me being a shepherd with a flock who is teaching false doctrine. It's all symbolic of, of what's happening inside the church. Okay. So she came up to me and wanted the weed, which I gave her. Now, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 4, verse 3 and 4. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Okay. So, all right, there you go. That's the dream. Uh, those are the interpretations with the dream, with the scripture. And I hope and I pray that you are, you know, walking in truth and honesty with God, the father, you know, like with Sharon, her name means fertile plain. So she sought out false doctrine. She did that herself. Now the seeds that get planted, well, what do you think is going to happen? What kind of ground was that planted on the, the parable of the seed of the sower? What's going to happen to those seeds? Okay. It wasn't, it, 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 she's supposed to be a fertile plain. She's supposed to be a place of good soil where the seed, she goes to find the proper seed. The proper seed is, is planted in her and it grows well and it has deeply rooted roots. Okay. But because she herself willingly went out looking for false doctrine. Well, I don't believe her seed is going to grow well. I don't, if it can even grow at all. Okay. So anyway. I pray that you um, will allow the Holy Spirit to lead you into all truth. Because that's what the Holy Spirit does. Do not search out people who are teaching you false doctrine. Okay? So just walk in obedience to God the Father through His Son, Jesus Christ. 
Turn away from sin. Repent now. Throw it away. It needs to be turned into a garbage bag. You need to get rid of the garbage. Okay? You cannot hide it from God. He is already coming up the driveway. He's about to enter in the door. This was a urgent. Oh my gosh, I just have to get, I got to get rid of this. It was so, you know, it was happening so quick. Oh my gosh, he's coming up the driveway. I can't let him see me with this. I got to get rid of this. Right? You better have that sense of urgency about yourself because I promise you this. You cannot hide your sin from God. You should not even want to hide your sin. You should not be active, actively living a lifestyle of fulfilling the lusts and desires of the flesh anyway. But if you know that you're holding on to sin, you need to get rid of it now. You, you will be caught with it. If you don't get rid of it now, throw it out. Don't try to hide it. Throw it out. All right? So God bless you all. And God bless your family. God bless your animals on this day. Goodbye.